are you? He's Willy Wonk. Harry! <laughs> then shouldn't you be up there? Uh, well, well, I couldn't, I couldn't very, very well, well watch, watch the, the show, show from up there. Now can I, little girl? Don't you want to know our names? Can't imagine how it would matter. Just drop your coats anyway. <laughs> Mr. Wonka, I'm Violet Beauregard. Mr. Wonka, Mr. Wonka I'm Violet Beauregard. I don't care. I'm Bruno Salt. It's very nice to meet you, sir. I always thought of a ripple as a type of wart you got on the bottom of your foot. <laughs> I walk out so loop. I love the chocolate. I can see that. So do I. You're Mike TV. Would you like some chocolate? Sure. Then you should just watch some. Let's be friends. Best friends. An important room, this. After all, it is a chocolate factory. Then why is the door so small? I remember thinking, I'm about to beat this bitch up. It's to keep all the great big chocolatey flavor inside. <laughs> it's beautiful. What? Oh yeah, it's very beautiful. Enjoy! Why not start a new piece? Because then I wouldn't be a champion. I'd be a loser, like you. They are such wonderful workers. I feel I must warn you, though, they are rather mischievous. Always making jokes. <laughs> Where is my son? Where does that pipe go to? That pipe? It just so happens to lead to death. Mr. Wonka. Huh? Why would Augustus' name already be in the Olympus song? Unless... In improvisation is a part of trick. Anyone can do it. You, little girl, say something. Anything. Chewing gum. Chewing gum is really gross. Chewing gum, I hate the most. See? Exactly the same. No, it isn't. Uh, you really shouldn't, Mama. Because I can't understand a word you're saying. Now, on with the tour. But by the way, no other factory in the world. You already said that. You're all quite short, aren't you? Well, yeah, we're children. Well, that's no excuse. I was never as short as you. You were once. Was not. Know why? Because I distinctly remember putting a hat on top of my head. Look at your short little arms. You could never reach. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, just got diagnosed. You even remembered it was like being a kid. Oh, boy, do I. You guys are in a crisis. I'm on my way. Now, everyone enjoy yourselves, but just don't touch anything. Okay? Hey, Mr. Walker, what's this? are everlasting gut stoppers. You can suck on it all year, and it'll never get any smaller. <laughs> Isn't that neat? It's like gum. No. You suck down one of these little boogers, and in exactly half an hour, a brand new crop of hair will start growing out all over the top of your little noggin. And a mustache, and a beard. Who wants a beard? Are you hep to the job? Can you dig what I'm laying down? I knew that you could slide me some skin, so brother. Unfortunately, the mixture isn't quite right yet because an Oompa Loompa tried yesterday and, well... You look great! Do I look... You mean that's it? Do you even know what it is?
Because <laughs> this gum is a full three-course dinner all by itself. <laughs> it sounds weird. Is this bitch serious? Sounds like my kind of gum. <laughs> that is not correct. Because according to the encyclopedia of... I've tried it on like 20 Oompa Loompas and each one ended up as a blueberry. <laughs> Just weird. <laughs> I want you to roll Miss Beauregard into the boat and take her along to the juicing room at once. The juicing room? What are they going to do to her there? Uh, they're going to squeeze her. They're like a little pimple. <laughs> we got to squeeze all that juice out of her immediately. Come on. Let's boogie. If you hate gum so much, why do you make it? Once again, you really shouldn't mumble because it's kind of starting to bum me out. These flashbacks happen often? Increasingly. Today. <laughs> Daddy, I want a squirrel. Get me one of those squirrels. I want one. How about no? Ruka, dear, you have many marvelous pets. All I've got at home is one pony and two dogs and four cats and six bunny rabbits and two parakeets and two canaries and a green parrot and a turtle and the silly old hanger. I want a squirrel! Daddy will get you a squirrel just as soon as he possibly can. But I don't want any old squirrel. I want a trained squirrel. Very well. How much do you want for one of these squirrels? Name your price. But they're not for sale. She can't have one. Daddy. I'm sorry, darling. Mr. Wonka's being unreasonable. If you won't get me a squirrel, I'll get one myself. Oh. Where are they taking her? To the incinerator. But don't worry, we only light it on Tuesdays. Today is Tuesday. Well, there's always the chance they decided not to light it today. Oh, honey. Honey. <laughs> Around the factory. There can't be this many floors. How do you know, Mr. Smarty Pants? I want a bigger room. Go ahead. Put these on quick and don't take them off whatever you do. This light could burn your eyeballs right out of your skulls. And we certainly don't want that, now do we? Television, chocolate vision, all ready to be eaten. You can do it, you can see it. It is impossible. You don't understand anything about science. Take a break, off. <laughs> Would be like nine atomic bombs. Mumbler! 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 Seriously. I cannot understand a single word you're saying. Okie dokie. <laughs> It's just a picture on a screen. Scary cat. You take it. Go on. Just reach out and grab it. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Eat it. Go on. Eat it. What about people? Well, why would I want to send a person? They don't taste very good at all. But that is called cannibalism, my dear children. Don't you realize what you've invented? It's a teleporter. Most important invention in the history of the world. And all you think about is chocolate. He has no idea. But I'm not. Don't push my button. He's gone. Well, I sometimes only half the little pieces find their way through. If you had to choose only one half of your son, which one would it be? What kind of a question is that? No need to snap. Just a question. Oh, thank heavens. He's completely unharmed. Unharmed? What are you talking about? Just put me back in the other way! There is no other way. It's television, not telephone. It's quite a difference. Let's go put him in the taffy puller. Taffy puller? Hey, that was my idea. Boy, is he gonna be skinny. Yeah. Taffy puller. <laughs>